Hello friends. So we'll continue SAP Adapt Enhancement. So in the previous lecture, we have learned how to implement, how to do the explicit enhancement. And as we know, in the explicit enhancement, we have enhancement point and enhancement section. So in the enhancement point, we can only add the additional code. This we have done in the previous lecture to validate the first four digit as a planned code. So we have seen like in case of enhancement point, we can only add the additional code in the existing program, but we cannot replace the SAP standard code. So in this lecture, in the part of explicit enhancement, we will learn how to implement how to implement the enhancement section. So with the help of enhancement section, we can overwrite the SAP standard code. So let's first understand what is the business requirement here. See for the, I'm going to decode MMNR and here I click on display groups. So for the material type ROH, that is raw material, the currently the number is assigned is 01 as internal and 02 as external. If I go back one step back and here we check intervals, here we can see 01 is the internal number range and 02 here the external check is selected, so external number range. Okay, this is the current scenario for the material type ROH. So what I will do, I will just create one material first, two material I will create. So MM01, here I'm selecting ROH. So first I'm selecting the industry as A, that is plant engineering construction. If I press enter here, let's see data one. Let's say industry, like I'll just give industry type construction. Okay, this is first material which I'm creating. So here you can see the number which is assigned, number internal number which is assigned by system is 493. Okay, this is industry type construction. So from where this 493 is coming? So in the T code MMNR, the interval 01 is assigned, the number range 01 is assigned to the material type ROH. So based on that, that 490 material code is coming. Here it is 500 because system keeps some buffer. Okay, so now suppose if I'm creating with some other type, let's say mechanical engineering, if I press enter, okay, the same material type ROH. So here again, we can see 494, but this time like industry type, let's say mechanical. Okay, so so whether I'm selecting like mechanical or construction, the number range zero one is getting triggered. Why? Because in the group, we can assign only based on the material type, fine? So what I want to do here, whenever my material type is ROH, and if the industry sector is A, that is construction, Let's say I want to assign some other number range. The number is 10. Okay, this number range I want to assign. And for remaining all, the standard one, which is assigned through group, that is 01, will continue. So this is my business requirement. Because here I don't have option to assign the number range based on the industry sector. Fine. So for that, we will do the implementation through the enhancement section. So let me go to MM01 again. Okay, so first we'll see from where system is assigning this internal number range. So here I will select A. Okay, so either we can just press F1, go to technical information, double click on this screen. And here, because as soon as we press enter on the first screen, system is assigning the number range. So this will come 
under process after input and here if you see you can see one module internal material number gate so through this module here for system is checking whether the like MPN manufacturing part profile is assigned or not and it is not assigned so system is getting the internal number range from here okay so I'll just put one breakpoint here okay let me uh, come to debugging mode fine I will close this so first we'll see how the system is assigning the number range so I selected here a construction I'll press here slash H I press enter desktop 3 I will set one breakpoint in the internal number assignment F8 now F5 so here first in assignment point system is checking if the material is initial yes and then system is going to the enhancement section the internal material number gate so press F5 So here we'll see this function model is getting called. The number range is, which is assigned is 0, 01. Okay, so what, what is my requirement? I want to check first what is the material type, if it is ROH, and if the industry sector is construction, that is A. So for that, we'll check this RMMG1. RMMG1. So press page down here we can see this MBRSH this is industry sector here it is A material type is ROH but this 01 is currently coming based on the configuration so I want to change this standard code so for this we will do the explicit enhancement through enhancement section and here we can see for the explicit enhancement by default the enhancement is given okay this is like the start of the enhancement section and this is the end of the enhancement section but in case of enhancement point we have to create we have to do the enhancement fine so now we have identified the place where we have to do the code modification okay we have to do uh, where we have to do code modification now i will come out of this screen first I will okay, not copy the uh, program code, sorry, uh, include program. So let me go inside this program first. Internal number. This is the include program. I will just copy. I will come out complete out of this MM01. Okay. So now, now here what we have to do. We have to write our logic before system calls this function model. Here I want to pass the 10 based on the condition. So first we have to click here on this icon for the enhance. Okay, we can see here the option is given to enhance. Now right click enhancement operation create implementation. Either we can select the existing enhancement implementation or we can create new. Both okay. I will create a new one. I will give here Z change NR, change number range. Okay. Change the number range. I will save in a transport request. I will select this enhancement implementation. Now, if you see here, what system is what system has done? System has copied the complete code, the complete enhancement section code in our this enhancement. Okay. So now, once we activate this system, will not execute system will not execute this block. System will directly execute the our new active implementation block okay so because of this like in case of enhancement section, uh, enhancement section we can replace the standard SCP code because the old code will not get executed now here I have to write our logic right 
So what I will do first, I will check username because I'm working in development system, uh, demo system. Save. Now in the RMMG1, if RMMG1 MB RSH equals to A, that is construction. Okay. And and RMMG1 MTART, that is material type equal to ROH, that is raw material. And if what I want to do, I will assign a different number range here. Here, I will assign the number as 10. Save, check, no syntax error, activate. Fine. So what I have done here, first we have created the implementation. First we click on this icon. Then after right click, by right clicking, I created the implementation. Okay, at the top from here. Okay, after clicking, first we have to click on this icon and then after right click, we have to create the implementation. Okay, then we, after that, we have added all logic here. So this will work only on my username. If the material industry sector is A construction, if the material type is ROH, system will assign the number in just 10. Fine. So now, Okay, this is already activated. So enhancement is active. Now again, I will go to MM01 first. So what is the number range? MMNR, MMNR. So here for the 10 series, it will go like, it will start with one zero. Okay, it will get started with one zero. So first I will create for the mechanical, any other, any other I will create first. I have not set any breakpoint. Here we can see 496. Fine. So now same MM01, I will select construction. Now if I press enter, see, the number is changed now. Okay. Let me save first one record. Test. Do you want to save? Yes. The material is created. Okay. Now let's see the same in the debugging mode. I'll press here slash H. I'll press enter. Desktop three. Set a breakpoint at row number 60, internal metal number gate, F8, F5, F6, F6, just keep on pressing F6. So why it is not going inside? Okay, let me set one breakpoint for uh, through our program. Here I will set a breakpoint. It is working fine as for the requirement. Just it is not, uh, breakpoint is not getting triggered. So my industry sector is construction, ROH. Yeah, now it is triggered. Now the breakpoint is triggered. Psi unim is KZFR. This is also right. I will press F5. Industry sector is A. Material type is ROH. Okay. So the old number range is 01. The new system will assign as a 10. If I press F8, basic data 1, see the new number range. So this is possible only through enhancement section. With the help of enhancement section, we can replace the old code. Now one, what I will do, I will select mechanical. So press enter. See so this time, here the industry sector is M. And the number range is 01. If I press F5, see here the same 01 is going ahead. 
okay you can see 497 fine so in this way we will learn how to implement the enhancement section and you have seen how we can replace the standard sap code thank you